I appreciate what the committee is doing that you are uh, documenting cases of uh, actual discrimination in our internet. Kasi ang, ang dapat kasi natin sa kutin talaga is uh, ano ang maitutulong ng Sochi Bill para para mawala o ma-address yung mga na-share ng mga karanasan ng discrimination. Kasi marami ang nagsasabi, ang pag-aramdam ay punish siya mo na rin yung discrimination na ginawa na narinig ng mga narinig natin, punishable na rin na ngayon with the current set of laws. That's why uh, we have to convince legislators on the need for this soldier bill. Additional, kasi kasi sabi lang ng Chen Yin Jefferson, uh, there's a new law, safe uh, streets and uh, public spaces. Tapos if we listen carefully sa DepEd statement, they support, however, academic freedom, dot, dot, dot. Antonio Mariano Tolle says, that's already what I've, what I've heard are already prohibited under present law. Tama ba yung Mariano? Unless uh, I am, mis I am uh, mis uh, mis uh, quoting you or I am, I am too, too much uh, simplifying your statement. Parang gano'n, di ba? Na, na yung mga reklamo na narinig natin na discrimination, si, si Disney. For example, si Disney, pinapahirtap na siya. Oh, under present law, by violation o wala. Meron po, Senator, point of point of discrimination po. Precisely. Yes, po. Kasi, okay, Talagang nakakagalit naman yung mga discrimination na naririnig natin. Meron pang sharing dito na hindi na tuloy na arat, nagtuloy sa pag-aarat dahil sa trauma yung isa. Ay, pressure ng, ng curtain. curtain. Yung isa, peer pressure. Grabe yung indirect peer pressure dahil buong klase ibabagsak. Dahil ito. Ms. Lopez, objected. May violation? Ola. Present law. Present law. Apply them, apply them, apply them to what you heard. Five pedi na, pedi na may cause of action na at this very moment, even without the SOGI bill. Tama, di ba? So, that's it. So, Kilusan ngayon natin yung ngayon lahat yan. Ngayon, uh, siguro, uh, we will just help each other find out which of the experiences or complaints na lalabas, kahit hindi pa lumabas dito, but maybe published in some of your studies, which will be the ones now addressed by the SOGB. Okay, Klaruhin natin yun, kasi otherwise, there will be no need for the SOGB Ang lumalabas, confusion pa, like for example, itong case ni Gretchen na mabuti naman, I'm glad that si Gretchen did not uh, withdraw the case yata, she was intending or did not pursue the case, she was intending to file against the, ano ba tawag mo ba? The and then, criminal case pa. Did she file a criminal case? Okay. And then, and then yung isa naman, yung Jenny Press, withdrew her adjust fixation case against Gretchen. Oh, sana ganun kasi uh, may confusion pa eh. As a, yung sinabi ng Senator Marcos, there is really confusion. I, I kept asking the chairperson, si JD, transgender man. Tapa? Am I correct? Meaning to say, you were born a female? Yes, boy. Oh, yes, boy. So, so, my mark, so, my mark, so, I don't want this uh, in Quezon City, the first LGU to have passed uh, an LGBTQ plus ordinance. How about Gender fair. Gender fair. Gender fair ordinance, the first LGU. Therefore, it becomes the 
laboratory, the actual laboratory for the implementation of this law, a preview, a preview to a national implementation, ang ending natin, kasuhan. Ayaw natin ang ganun kasi uh, this will not help the boss actually, matatapag, matatapag na yung ending, ganito, ano nangyari? Oh, and then, Siyempre, meron din po nag-research dun sa situation dun sa this, this incident uh, brought into national attention by uh, Senator Ontiveros. Buti na nag-atrasa ng kaso kasi kawawa talaga ng, ng hindi na nang timayaman yung generalist na sa nakon to hire a lawyer. Amala ko sa kanya. Me, meron din na kong information dito. May picture pala. Na meron naman daw, Chairperson din na third CR na gender neutral. So, was there really, yeah, ito, was there really discrimination in this incident? So, yung mga ganun ba? So, Quezon City has, is take, has taken the lead, so it becomes the laboratory for the implementation of this of this uh, concept in a certain way. Pero sana hindi po mauwi sa kasuhan, because this is not what we want na mangyari at yan. We clarify our terms, we clarify the scope of uh, the ordinance and the law. Uh, there are still the bots there, I mean, academic freedom and then uh, parental authority. Uh, how, uh, to what extent will this bill now interfere with parental authority? So, a parent sees a child of a minor age, or still an age of minority, uh, deviating from his concept of what uh, the child's gender should be, which is, should be equal to the sex at birth. Okay? Do you blame the parent for thinking that way? Hindi. Kasi iba rin siya sa inyo. Just as dapat ang panawagan ngayon, we should respect yung pagkakaiba ng uh, LGBTQ plus uh, community. So, you do not blame the parent for thinking that way. Can the parent prevent the child from deviating from the sex of birth. Will the SOGI bill, when it becomes law, now interfere with the parents' parental authority? Yung mga ganun. So, kailangan natin ito. 